So, Virgil, now we've been partners for a while now, we gotta know, like, nothing about you. I mean, granted, I haven't said much about myself either, it's not like you'd want to know. Well, Eric, if you must know, I keep a lot of secrets about myself because some of the things I've seen and some of the things I've done, well, it's just not something you'd want to talk about, you know? Fair enough. I mean, that bullet to my chest really got me curious on what's going on in that big ass head of yours. Well, you see, Eric, I was transferred to New Vegas from Shady Sands when my unit was deployed to help hold the Hoover Dam against Caesar's Legion. I got there just in time for some weirdo to come out of the Lucky 38. It was good times. The people were raving about him like he was some celebrity at an anime convention or something. So, did you go to Gamora? Mm, not so much. The only difference between that place and a drug market is that the hookers can clean their crack and sell it again. It's just Ugh. not just not good entertainment for me. Anyway, I did do some gambling at the Topps Casino for a bit. Found a couple good people to play with, and uh, the Topps Casino chairman Swank even let me keep my weapons due to my ranger status. So you gambled a bit. I do that every day of my life since I stuck me with you. Well, if you'd wait for me to finish, all of a sudden this crazy nutjob with green hair and a mustache comes in with a vault suit and a ray gun and kills the Topps Casino owner Benny right in front of me. Said he was looking for a... platinum chip or something like that? All I wanted was to gamble. The people were running and screaming left and right. <sighs> what happens in Vegas? <sighs> Come on, dude. You're putting me to sleep here. Well, there was the time I got to meet Mr. House himself. Crocker needed a representative from the Rangers for whatever reason. I mean, I'm not sure I'm not one for politics, but... Uh, the, the crazy thing about Mr. House is he's not even a human. He's just a robot on a television screen. I mean, he looks like Robert Downey Jr. Though I will admit, his design isn't that bad. There was also the time I snuck into the fort and actually got an audience with Caesar himself. Though I think he saw through my clever disguise. Don't ask me how I got out of that situation, because it's not pretty. And I've heard it's a bad idea to tempt the wrath of Kaisar. Anything else? Seriously, Virgil, the stuff you tell me, you sound like you poured it right out of your ass. Well, uh, I met some friendly super mutants high in the ski lodges over in the mountains, and I saw a few vaults out in the waste as well. Vault 12? Mm, no, I, I'm afraid I haven't seen that one. My advice, though, you see a raider, blow their heads off. They don't want what you're selling, preferably with a high caliber weapon because their heads go flying. Haha, <laughs> go on. Also, death claws. Never get too close to them. First, you want to shoot them from a distance to the head with a rifle, then kill the children so they can't breed. Just whatever you do, Eric, don't get close to them. I still have nightmares about being trapped under that damn fence. Death claw, huh? Uh, what's a death claw? Stop it, Eric. You know what a death claw is. Huh? No? Alright. So what? Death claws, raiders, same shit, different day. Anything interesting like fighting the Enclave, saving the world? <sighs> well, Eric, if you really must know, I was at the first battle of Hoover Dam in 2277. It seems as though Caesar had sent some troops in during the night to see where our troops were. Our uh, munitions, our military capacity, just our positions, everything. They came by day when we weren't expecting it, and there were so many of them. It seemed like Graham had sent the entire damn legion after us. A ranger battalion fought against them, though the Legion themselves fought very bravely and it seems as though it was a game of cat and mouse, two sides not making any ground. Eventually the rangers in my unit were able to push the Legion back. They retreated back across the dam and made camp, which is where they are to this day. The battle was won, but not without heavy losses on both sides.
I heard Hanlon and Oliver ambush them back in Boulder City. Uh, there isn't really much left of that to see, but, you know, the memory's always there. Damn, Virgil. So Deathclaws are the giant scorpion. Damn it, Eric!